Welcome to Desert News on the Trail. I'm Samuel Benson, the national political correspondent reporting from Simi Valley, California. The second GOP debate took place here at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library on Wednesday evening. As Republican presidential candidates gathered at the library, one was noticeably absent, Donald Trump. The former president, who maintains massive leads in national polls, chose to skip the debate and instead travel to Detroit, where United Auto Workers strikes are in their second week. Trump's challengers criticized the former president's decision, saying he was afraid of facing American voters. After the debate, in the spin room, candidates and their surrogates made their cases to why they won the night. But they were much more hesitant to discuss Trump then, who maintains a 40 percentage point lead in many national polls. Well, look, you know, he said that Donald Trump could come debate, but right now you're, he's in a debate and focusing the people on that stage. And really, look, you have tens of millions of people. You have a chance to talk and give your message out and share your vision for the country. And he was able to do that tonight, whether whoever's on the stage, whoever's not on the stage, it's an opportunity we're not going to pass up. Trump sent Kerry Lake, the former Arizona gubernatorial candidate, to stand in for the campaign and make the case for Trump's absence. I applaud President Trump for being a true leader mm. and standing there uh, with the folks in Michigan, a critical state, while the D-list debate team uh, fought on stage and really embarrassed themselves. During the debate, candidates discussed immigration, education, the economy, and foreign policy, though one of the most heated moments came when discussing Ukraine and whether the U.S. should continue its military aid there. Nikki Haley, Tim Scott, and Doug Burgum argued for continuing U.S. support for Ukraine in its fight against Russia, while Vivek Ramaswamy and Ron DeSantis called for an America First approach that would withdraw our aid. I think Ronald Reagan would have been uh, you know, deeply concerned about some of the comments about that somehow America first means that we don't work with our allies, that somehow we can concede Ukraine to Russia, Taiwan to China. To get more in-depth coverage of the presidential election, subscribe to On the Trail 2024 at Deseret.com newsletters.